Happy Monday, Trade Hackers. Today is January 13th. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Another day, another grind higher, or in this case, not necessarily a grind. The S&P's up 20 points with about an hour to go. NASDAQ's up over a percent again today. So just this continued march higher in stocks. And that's the broad market. Check out some of the moves in these individual stocks. Look at Beyond Meat, up over 16.5%. If we take a look at where it's been, I mean, just on top of a huge move over the last few days, they've just had a, an explosive move in Beyond Meat. So that fake meat is coming back, my friends. We'll be looking for some potential trade opportunities in there this week. Another big mover, Tesla, on top of its big movement that it's already seen, Tesla is also climbing up over 8% today. We just put on another reverse iron duck in Tesla on top of this move. So we'll see what happens there, but it just continues to climb, seeing some good explosive growth there. A couple other things that we did today, closed out an iron condor in gold, book some profits, closed out an iron duck in Amazon, book some profits, closed out a short strangle in bonds and book some profits on each of those. What's interesting here though, with, you know, with the S&P up 20, NASDAQ up over a percent, you would think that volatility would just be contracting. But if you take a look at the VIX, the VIX is only down 1%. You know, typically on a, a move like this in, in stocks to the upside, you would see the VIX contracting by 5, 6, 7, or more percent. But volatility is staying fairly bid. So we'll see if, if that has any impact. The other thing to keep your eyes on, as I mentioned last week, is the banks will start reporting earnings this week. So if we take a look at the earnings calendar, you've got JP Morgan, Wells Fargo announced before the bell tomorrow morning. So it'll be interesting to see how the earnings in these bank stocks start shaking out. I think the financials, you know, obviously have a huge impact on the overall market. And if the, fi and if the financials start to tip, that could be an indicator of the rest of the market to follow. But if the banks continue to produce strong earnings, strong profits, and their stocks react in a way that's to the upside, well, you know, the, the rest of the market's going to follow that as well. So look forward to seeing what happens then. Everybody have a great evening, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.